The federal government of Nigeria has been urged to stop trading with foreign currencies and find a way to regulate the prices of goods and services. This advice was given by Chief Dr. Amos Gizu in his office at Jabi Abuja, Nigeria. Chief Dr. Gizu, who is a politician and publisher of City Watch magazine, stressed on the need to stop trading with foreign currencies, adding that it devalues the nation's local currency, thereby reducing economic strength as a nation and militate against the growth and development of Nigeria. We should stop trading with foreign currencies. And when we do that, it will strengthen our currency. And uh, we should concentrate more on exporting our goods. It strengthens our currency too. So I believe that when this policy is made as a law, uh, I'm confident that we are going to have a leeway towards it. He noted that the president, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR led administration. The situation got bad, terribly bad, before the coming of the present administration. And uh, when something gets bad, for it, to be repaired, it takes a little time. But I'm confident with what Mr. President is currently trying to do. If you are following, you can see that the concern of the present administration is in three folds. First, security and you can see the speed at which the pupils that were kidnapped have been released. I think that's a very big achievement if that is done continuously and is sustained. Two, you can see that petroleum product has dropped. You can equally see that Naira had gone close to 2,000, but today it has been drastically reduced and it will continue to reduce. Three or four, part of the problems we have is corruption. And you can see that this government has a zero tolerance to corruption. If these indices are being followed the way it is expected, I'm confident that uh, the economy will pick up. When security is taken care of, people will go to farm. Because that is part of the problem. And of course, every effort is put Mr. President has asked security chiefs to leave no stone and turn to make sure that people are secured and can go to farms to produce food. It's part of our problem. And of course, if the Naira appreciates the poverty level that people are thinking of will be reduced considerably. Uh, the president, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu, led administration, should focus on rural industries, noting that such industries help to create more job opportunities for youths and aid development in the country. Local industry, production. We have so many things. Let me give you an example. When you go to Benue State, which is a state close to our zone, uh, to our zone and uh, close to my state. I'm from Plateau State. There are so many things that they produce there. For instance, 
we have no reason to even be buying juice, packet juice from other countries into this country. The production of things like oranges and uh, other fruits are in abundance. Mangoes are in abundance in this country. It is when we make the preservation system by doing uh, our own local content juice, we will be able to, one, secure our own funds, provide job opportunities for the locals, and that too will reduce youth restiveness and all this. So I encourage local content. Another thing, let's go back to my state. Our state, Plateau State, produces almost all the fruits that are seen in overseas. And we have beautiful weather. Uh, if local content is to be done, whoever goes to Plateau will be able to get all these things. There's nothing that we do not have. Apple, tea, yam, rice, and whatever. So we, we can equally fit the world from there and it will increase our GDP. He has the people at heart. So my plea to the people is that let them give him the chance. And when he is given the chance, there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel. It is not going to be easy. This recession we are seeing is not just Nigeria, it's, an in, it's, a, it's all over. But uh, countries, some countries and Nigeria inclusive will come out of it and will come out better. So conclusively, I want to tell the people that they should take it uh, slowly and uh, Mr. President will surprise them at the end of it all. While stressing that Nigeria was blessed with raw materials that would aid production of goods and services by such local industries, he charged the president to open the nation's borders in a regulatory manner and allow goods that would alleviate the suffering of the people into the country. He said that the government was moving towards the right direction, emphasizing that the president, Tinubu led administration, have the interest of all at heart. Chief Gizo urged the good people of Nigeria to give President Tinubu the needed support and allow him build Nigeria to a greater height.